Hi, Gemini. My name is Sansi, and I'll be doing a little four card reading for you today. And it'll be your overall uh, feeling card at the bottom of the deck past, present, and future energies. Okay, for the month of November. And I just had a good friend of mine, Jason. He um, gifted me the, this new deck of cards and I was excited to uh, try them. And it's called a Modern Witch Instructional Guide if you're interested in getting them. Yeah, they're really good cards. I really, yeah, I'm really enjoying them so far. So, uh, if you don't know, I channel everything on paper. I try not to learn the meanings of the cards because I do best with my own intuition. And I've been reading for, I don't know, 46 years, something like that. I don't know. I'd have to add it up again. But um, I've been doing this a long while. And, um, you know... I don't know if you know that I'm uh, writing a book of my crazy life and um, I'm also uploading um, chapters, each chapter on my channel here. So I really hope you get a chance to see it. Uh, I feel like the book is going to take me about another year. and um, But between times I'll be peppering in, you know, a few uh, small readings and uh, and a bunch of other stuff i uh, i upload a lot of different stuff but after i'm done with the book i'm going to concentrate on the readings because i feel like this is a brand you know and everyone needs a brand and but i've been having fun just uploading whatever i want to upload but it's not making my channel grow so I'm going to have to buckle down and as soon as possible and uh, and just do the readings because that's really what I want to do. And I also want to uh, do some readings on um, the Archangels because I've been working with them for a few years now. And they help the minute you ask for help because we were given free will. So I hope you get to see uh, some of those short videos. There are 72 archangels that you can call upon at any given time. And they all specialize in something different. Um, so yeah, it's a good thing to look up yourself or, or watch it on my channel. Okay? So anyway, let's get started. The bottom of the deck, I got King of Cups. So that's looking pretty good. And I channeled here, sitting st steady on your throne, even though a lot of waves around you may have Pisces in your chart, or someone may be a Pisces with that little, that little fish here. Um, you have your crown on and looking dapper, I might add, looking very dapper. Nothing is bothering you. So this is really good to see. So nothing's really bothering you right now. Even though all this choppy water around you, you're just hanging on to your cup and, and doing the best you can. And I like to see this. So now I'll read to you the King of Cups out of the book for extra clarification and to back up my own reading. Of course, i got to find the cups, so... Okay, King Cups, here it is right here. They're calming. They're calming, and their cup is brimming with love and compassion. They draw strength from treating others with tenderness and kindness, and they're truly in touch with all their emotions. They're the kind of person who you feel perfectly at ease with. Let me see if there's something on the other side. Come on. My fingers don't want to work. I apologize. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Because their presence is sincere and accepting... 
If this indicates a relationship, you're finally fully able to let down all your walls and feel comfortable and loved by this person. If the king is you, you're doing a beautiful job as a friend and confidant, so be proud of yourself. Yeah, I like it. It's really good. So this is your overall feeling. And we'll go to, this is the recent past energies. And I got the Six of Swords, which I was a little bit, you know, surprised after that, that pretty good card. And then you got this. So I wrote, moving to calmer waters and may have had help with this. You look depleted, but energies are fluid. So you could be the one rowing the boat and helping someone else. So take it as it resonates. But definitely moving away from choppy waters, like with the King of Cups. Yep. Got choppy waters all around, right? But now you're moving away. And this is the recent past. So you're moving to calmer waters now. So that's really good. And let's look up the Six of Swords. Okay. You're going to need to make a difficult choice, one that might feel painful and almost impossible. However, you know deep down that this is the best path forward. It's definitely going to be rough waters for a while, and your emotions may fight you, but logic tells you this is what you need to do. Be well as you walk forward into the unknown. So I'm sure at least some of you can relate to this. And please leave it in the comments uh, if you would like to. Because I would love to know what's going on here. This is kind of, you know, crazy. Okay, so the present energies, I got the Nine of Swords. And I was equally as shocked to get this one. So this is, I mean, not really because you just got the Six of Swords, right? But now your present energies is the Nine of Swords. So I wrote sleepless nights, worrying, sadness, despair, overthinking. However, you have flowers on your bedspread, so it may, may not be as bad as you are feeling right now. Life is mountains, mountains and valleys, so we will always have success and failure, good and bad. But just hang in there and it will work out one way or another. Right? It will. You know, maybe try to meditate before going to sleep. Because if you've got stuff on your mind, it, it would help to clear your mind as much as you possibly can. So that you can go to sleep, right? So let's look up the Nine of Swords. I'm holding this up to see if you can see anything that I'm not seeing. The swords hang high above your head and you're wide awake at night. You can't sleep as your mind is just consumed with anxiety, despair, and an impending feeling of doom. Maybe you're going through something truly terrible and maybe you've been building up an obstacle to be larger than it, it really is. That's what I just said. That's what I just channeled. Like... It may not be as bad as what it really feels like in this moment, right? Either way, it's okay to feel scared or anxious. Talk about it with someone that you trust and try to look to the future. Yeah, great advice. Great advice. Okay, and then for your future energies, I got the Page of Wands. And I wrote, you have had some struggles, no doubt. But now you have crossed hills 
and are on, on solid ground. You have a lot of growth on that one, so you will be fine. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming like the movie Nemo, right? Rest if needed, but then persevere. Keep going, and the future will be better because things always get better. They always do. They always do. You know, I mean, life is just mountains and hills and valleys through our whole life. And it's not going to stop now. Things aren't going to just get to this awesome place and stay there, you know? I mean, that's what we all want, but that's never what happens, right? Because there's stuff to deal with all the time. This life can be very difficult, and it's been very difficult cult for me as well and it still is okay so let's look for page where's the page okay so okay i think it's oh here it is the page is always bursting with new ideas new things to do new things to learn and study she wants it all, but doesn't quite yet have the maturity to focus on following through with her fleeting passions. Everything is possible, and it's exciting. If the page is you, you're in an experimental stage, so try everything and follow your whims. Eventually, you'll find something that clicks, right? Yeah. So the future is looking way brighter. Yeah, you may not know what you're doing in life yet or what you want to grow up to be, right? You may not know, even if you're 50 years old, you know, you may not know yet. But just keep trying different things like a YouTube channel like I'm doing or um, college courses or whatever, right? Whatever strikes your uh imagination just go for it like if you have a passion and a desire to learn something or do something then do it just do it because this life is shorter than you think it's shorter than you think i'm 66 years old right now and it went way faster than i ever dreamed and if i could go back i would have gone skydiving i would have done the things that there's no way that i could do now my body couldn't take it so if you have any desires just do it yeah and it'll make you happy all right okay guys i hope you have a great thanksgiving i really do try not to worry too much really because this too shall pass my mom used to always say that to me when she was alive this too shall pass i've heard this a million times but it does and she was right so things always get better right they always do but anyway happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving to your whole family and thank you so much for tuning in and if you could give me like an emoji a comment a thumbs up anything i would so so appreciate it because I'm just trying to make my channel grow. All right. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye. And good luck with everything. I'll, I will say a prayer for you right now. As soon as I turn the camera off. All right. Okay, have a good one. All right, bye-bye.